us why you think F9 was such a hit over the weekend. Why should I go and watch it? Well, I, I think it's the ultimate popcorn movie. They say, you know, for some movies you need to sus uh, suspend disbelief. And I think for this one, you really have to do that. And look, people have been cooped up at home for for some maybe over a year, not able to go out and enjoy those communal activities. And going to a movie theater is one of those things that just baked into our DNA. We love going out to the movies. And to put this in perspective, about a year ago, according to our Comscore data, there are around a thousand theaters open in North America. Now there are over 4,600 theaters open, which represents about 80% of available movie theaters are open right now. So when Universal moved the release date of Furious 9 from 2020 to 2021, they really picked a good date here because you have vaccinations increasing, you have people wanting to get out of the house, you have more theaters available, you've had some big movies already released, A Quiet Place 2, The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It. And so that's that has been leading up to this with all that momentum and people wanting to go out of the house and watch a movie on the big screen. It's really paying off big for Hollywood. And that's good news for an industry that was really sidelined for about a year. Yeah, F9, a year. they got the timing right, as you just said. I'm just curious if you take a step back and look at demand for movies in general at the theater. Yeah. Um, how, what's it been like? Is it met your expectations? Has it been less or more than what you were expecting as states open up and more people get out there? You know, it's been, I, I would say, about as good as you could hope for, even better, really. I mean, if you were going to you know, write up a blueprint for what the recovery, the road to recovery has been for movie theaters. You know, you go back to Godzilla versus Kong just a few months ago, that propelled the industry to a then high uh, overall weekend. And as time has gone on, we've just seen all these big movies, some of which going day and date, meaning in theaters and on streaming at the same time, but still doing well at the movie theater. There was this idea uh, by many over the past few months that the movie theater would not recover from this that having so much great content at home, and it is great to have all those streaming services, but there's just something about the communal and immersive nature of a movie theater that just can't be replicated anywhere else. And I think that's really held the industry in good stead. And we're looking forward to a lot of big movies on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Fourth of July weekend is going to be key. And then right. after that, you have Black Widow opening. Then down the road, you have James Bond and Top Gun. A lot of great movies in the pipeline. Just hope we can keep this momentum going. So if this weekend is any indication, that's going to happen. You think, uh, given the success of F9 and Quiet Place 2, that more uh, more of the big releases that are coming up will not skip the theaters. They won't go straight to Netflix like Kevin Hart did with his newest movie, Fatherhood, which, by the way, has done very well on Netflix. Well, that's right. I mean, look, you can have success on the small screen and the big screen, but I think you're going to see a lot of studios rethinking their strategies. A lot of studios move to that streaming day and date uh, model. But now I think they're looking at A Quiet Place 2, which was a theatrical first release, as is Furious 9. And they're going to look at that and say, maybe theatrical first is the way to go. Dynamic windows are here to stay, obviously. Shorter windows than the traditional 90 days. But that being said, irrespective of the window, movies like Furious 9, A Quiet Place 2, and others have proven that people really want to go to the movie theater. And that's just not in North America, but around the world as well. Uh, our data showing that you know, Furious 9, Comscore showed over $405 million banked worldwide hmm. for Furious 9. So this is not just a, a North American phenomenon. This is a global play for all the students. So if demand is so strong, at what point do the theater chains just raise prices? I mean, we've already seen that happen. And if you're trying to book a flight right now, if you're getting fast yeah. food, going to the grocery store, when do the theater chains take advantage of this uh, strong demand? Well, I think right now it's about getting patrons back in the theater. So obviously pricing, people are price sensitive right now, obviously, but there are these uh, businesses like the movie theater, like travel and others that are raising prices because of this big demand. But I think right now, let's stay the course. Let's just keep uh, people coming into the theater, give them a reason to come back. It's already a value uh, added proposition. I think going to the movie theater, even at prices that people do complain about sometimes, is still a bargain for getting out of the house. And look, you get to go, well, I don't want to give anything away, but into outer space, 
in Furious 9 for just a few bucks. So how do you beat that, really? Given your enthusiasm, I feel like going to theater now, and I haven't been to Let's one in uh, at least 18 months. All right, you and me. There we go. Paul, thank All you right, for joining us. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.